All right, it's my auntie's 90th birthday. And uh, for those of you who don't know, her, my grandfather, and my grandmother are the reason why we migrated to Los Angeles. Because y'all came first, right? Yes. Yeah, y'all definitely came first. And mm -hmm. uh, thank you. We love you for that. All right. Yeah, yeah, without that. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't know Frederick Hawthorne in 2022. But I, 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 before, you used to see Malcolm X all the time on 116th yeah. Street. Tell them the story. Yeah. We used to see uh, Malcolm X on 116th Street. And we used to stand there and talk with him. And he was trying to get his thing together. And looked like he finally got it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he got and it. He was a very nice person. Uh -huh. talk, we talk about a lot of things, different things he would talk about and things that he knew about years ago and how he wanted to get people together. And he finally got them together. And he talked with a lot of them on Lenox Avenue and 116th Street. He talked with a lot of people. And uh, a lot of them would stop there and talk with them. Some work in the store near there. They'd come out on their lunch hour and talk with them. And he finally got it together. Mm -hmm. so, and, and you lived across the street on 115th, right? Yes. Like Cata Corner, right? Yes, yes. Right, yeah, right across. We could we had some low windows, uh -huh. like down near the floor, mm -hmm. and we used to get down there and peep down there at him all the time. <laughs> uh -huh. We did. We used to, we used to oh, laugh. You say, look, 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 look. Did did you know that when you were talking to him in the in the 50s and the 60s that that he would go to be like this well-renowned no, figure? No, He was just somebody on the corner, mm. hanging around all the time. And that's how he got to talk to people. And he got, like, that's how he got it together. Because the people enjoy standing on there talking to him. Mm. And he would just stand on that corner, and walk around, <laughs> talk to one person, and go maybe next block, and talk to people. But we enjoyed him because he was real. He was real. Why didn't you, if, if he was so much of an eloquent speaker, why didn't you join the Nation of Islam? Well, uh, I was a Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> I was a Baptist. Uh -huh. You know, and uh, my parents didn't believe in different right, organizations. Right. So we really didn't know what it was about. But as we, uh, as years passed, my son, he joined him. And he really, it helped him in a lot when he was arrested, he was in jail, and, uh -huh. and he helped get him out. Uh -huh. They had gave him uh, about 15 years, mm. and uh, he only stayed there two years. Wow. Because Malcolm had the, uh, his organization in there. Yeah. And uh, it's something about that organization that they could get by with a lot of things. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's right. So they were... So they were undercover thugs, too. Yeah, that's what they were, yeah. <laughs> they had the barbershop, they did the hair, and they uh -huh. did everything. So you, was, so you knew uh, bu you knew Bumpy Johnson, too, because Bumpy used to go to the restaurant across did. the street. He did. Yeah. He did. Mm -hmm. I he did. I, I really, really knew him. I talked with him an awful lot. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember his voice. Who, Malcolm's or Bumpy's? Uh, both of them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I remember their voices. Mm -hmm. And they really, really did what they wanted to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they worked at it hard. And when he passed, he, when, when he was murdered up the street on at the Autobahn. Yes, that's where we had our we had our bond dance every year. Mm -hmm. And I was so shocked to see that happen to him. Because mm -hmm. he had went went uh he went overseas somewhere and he, he went to Mecca, changed. yeah he yeah, went to and Mecca. He, and he changed. Mm -hmm. And he came back and uh, I guess a lot of them didn't like it. So mm -hmm. That's what they did, took his life. Mm -hmm. It was so sad to take his life. But I remember, I will always remember him, as long as I live. What uh, uh, What do you think happened to Malcolm? I think they got, uh, one thing, it was always jealous of him. Mm -hmm. You always had them little sneaky people. They would sneak around and, and ask questions and different things. And uh, they didn't like that. But uh, it's... It's like one leader want to be a, he want to take over the whole mm -hmm. thing, and that's what it was all about. Mm -hmm. Because they saw the work that he was doing, right. and especially in jail, right. because uh, the the, uh, the the police department uh, they, uh, they they they. 
Oh, you you were there that day when they marched down the street. Yeah. Uh huh. And see what it, what it was is it's uh they they didn't want him to have the whole thing to be the head of the whole right. thing. But they couldn't stop him, mm -hmm. and they didn't like that because they couldn't stop him. He had he had something going on. Mm -hmm. He did. And, and I'll remember him. Mm -hmm. I'll remember him as long as I live. I could see his face now, standing on the corner, swinging that leg, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. laughing and talking. Oh, yeah. Uh, what's your take on Elijah Muhammad now? Uh, what do you think of him? I think uh, they don't recognize him like they used to. Mm -hmm. they, used to they really used to recognize a lot of but you got so many that's trying to be a leader. And they, uh, they're not leaders, but they just want to be, and some of them are not doing the right thing, and right. they're not helping nobody. They, mm -hmm. Some of them are robbing and doing yeah. some of everything, so they're not like Melvin. Mm -hmm. they they'll never be like Melvin. <laughs> well, we appreciate the Malcolm story. Okay. Love you, Auntie. Okay. Happy 90th, Auntie. Okay. <laughs> Love you, Auntie. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs>